Hi, I am Raven. This is part 27 of a web services video series. In this session, we will discuss returning JSON and XML response from web service. Important synopsis we will discuss in this video are creating a web service and from that returning JSON and XML has the response. So let's begin the tutorial. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please watch before proceeding this video. In part 24, I have discussed uh, creating proxy through visual document. In part 25, differences between web reference and service reference. In part 26, I have discussed custom SOAP header in web service. Returning JSON and XML response. Let's we create one web service which returns JSON and XML. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's click on File, New, Website. Select the template as Visual C Sharp, Framework as .NET Framework 4.5. Select ASP.NET Empty Website. Rename the project as Return J JSON and XML Web Service. Let's click on OK button. That will create the project. Once the project is created, let's right click on the project and click on Add, Add New Item. Select Web Services. Rename it has. Rename it as Service. Let's click on OK button. That will create the web service. Now let's right click on the app underscore code folder. Click on add, add new item. Select the class file. Rename the class file has companies. Let's click on add button. Now let's create properties. Company ID. Company name. Now let's go to the service.cs file. Rename it has get companies XML. Let's create constructor for this. Company ID equal to let's give the company ID has C one two three company name equal to let's let's give the company name has TCS Let's copy this, paste here, let's give the company id has 
M two three. Company name has Infosys. Let's return this company. Let's build the solution. Now, let's run the project. Click on OK button. So we got this get companies XML. Let's click on this link. So we have this invoke button. Let's click on the default invoke button. That will give the response has a companies list has an XML. Now let's create one more method which returns JSON response. So we have got a XML response. Let's we create XML JSON response. Let's go back to Visual Studio. Let's stop debugging. Let's copy and paste one more method. This is JSON. Let's returning has a JSON. JavaScript serializer which this this is in namespace system dot web dot script dot serialization so let's import this dot serialize of we need to pass the objects and here we can see two type of overload methods we have to pass the string builder output and the object and uh, one more overload method is directly we have to pass the object this object let's pass this object let's remove this return type and make it has string build, let's build the solution so build succeeded let's run the project so we have both xml and the json when we click on this xml which will return xml data has the response let's go back when we click on this json it will return json data when we look at here we are using javascript serializer we have different type of methods for creating serializing and deserializing of objects we will discuss in the latter videos how to use the serialization and deserialization of using different type of of a serialization and a deserialization techniques in next video we will discuss checking for roles of admin and user in web service thanks for watching for references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my youtube channel for email alerts thank you